Thank you for tuning in today for another one of our IDIG Texas videos. Today we're going to go through the differences of the Montana Post Driver and the Texas Post Driver, which is a subdivision of IDIG Texas. Uh, there are quite a few variances between the machine as far as uh, uh, energy class, design of the bracket. It is built here in Texas. We're proud of that. Uh, we're basically going to spend our time going through here, looking at these differences, and uh, we're very confident that you'll find our machine provides a tremendous value over the Montana. who can build the best post driver. It's gonna be us. You'll see at the end of the video. Uh, hang in there. We're gonna go through it uh, one by one. I hope you enjoy the video. IDIGTexas.com. We provide the best customer service, the best warranties. We're looking at two year versus one year on the Montana. All right, so we're sitting here with uh, the compact post drivers on the market. We have a lot of people call in and ask, well, oh, what's the difference between your machine and the Montana? So, I mean, we're just, we're gonna get down to the nut cutting and tell you. Um, I have a Montana unit here. It goes for $24.95, currently $2,495 in the market. Uh, that says of, uh, what is it, March 2021. Um, we have our units. We're going to explain all the differences as we move through the video. Uh, the unit you see here is mounted to a half inch, full half inch, solid uh, blank. Heavy, uh, has a gusseted mount, no gussets here. Gusted mouth, there's no vibration. Um, you're going to pick this machine up for the price of this. Let's talk about this machine here, Montana, the competitor. Um, for $24.95, that's current in March 2021, once again. You get this unit with a, uh, a fork mount. So you're going to have to have a heavy duty fork frame. That's four or five, four, four fifty. Um, in addition, you know, it uses the same mechanism as a fork. I don't know if any of you guys have ever noticed when you're running around with your forks without a load, how much it shakes um, with the shake, rattle and roll, the vibration, it's gonna tear itself apart. Uh, moving on to the next detail. This is a 350 foot pound uh, class, they call it a class, 350 class foot pound unit. We utilized and paid a little extra and got ourselves a 450 foot pound uh, power cell. So you're gaining a little over 20% on power. Um, we also have the ability with more power to use a four and a half, it will show you here in a second a four and a half inch receptacle uh, on our hitting end on our tool strike plate and on the Montana you have a three inch maximum capacity so if you're out on the ranch you want to do corner posts, you want to do four inch posts, uh, you're not going to be able to do it with this machine. You'll see that our greaser is up here in the front where you're working, keep an eye on it. If you look on the Montana, and we're going to go into more of these details here in a second, You'll see down here the greaser is a screwed in 90 degree bracket, and that's how you service your machine. So, considering how much you're going to service it in the field, grease it, um, that's certainly an inferior design. Uh, not a common part. I'm not sure what this hook is doing here. Pull chain right next to your greaser. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. We've got uh, the two units flipped on their backside. Um, we've already mentioned it, but you'll notice this is a three and a half inch receptacle. 
four and a half inch receptacle. On the Montana unit, we'll zoom in on it here in a second, you'll see that it's actually a domed receptacle. So um, this is great for T-posts and I'll show you what we have that's even better. But uh, when you use drill stem, which is what we use out here, uh, the round receptacle is real tight. It's gonna make it mushroom. So you're not gonna get a flat impact. Uh, you'll see a lot more damage on the end of your pipe. <clears throat> so, moving on to our machine, what we've done is we've made a, a sleeve. It's four foot long. It's got a one and a half inch, we call it puck. And if you look at ours, we'll take closer pictures. It's a four and a half inch receptacle with a flat strike plate. So you put this, you probably can't see me, you put this over your T-post here, and it serves a couple purposes. You're gonna hit your strike plate true, fits in there perfectly. Your T-post is gonna get a lot of strength because it's inside this pipe, so it's not gonna wanna bow. So if you're in tough ground, this sleeve keeps it straight. This one and a half inch puff sits in here with an eight, eighth of an inch tolerance uh, around the receptacle. So you're able to get it uh, true, get a flat strike on it and uh, not damage your pipe. You'll see on the side here, to get to your hydraulic fittings, both machines have the hydraulic fittings on the back side. We've put, uh, call it an ergonomic design in here. If you look on the Montana, pretty simple design. Uh, you're gonna get half the travel distance on your wrench. The unit has a power cell. This is a nitrogen charged power cell. Essentially the hydraulic power enters, compresses the nitrogen, releases through a valve, and that's what strikes. Comes down with the energy and strikes the plate. All right, so here we have our deluxe model. Uh, very versatile. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. This unit has multiple mounting positions that we're gonna go through. You got hoses, very well protected, uh, very long. These hoses allow you, without putting extensions in, to extend all the way out in its furthest position. Also, you'll notice on this model, this machine's setting on the ground upright. So we're gonna show you how easy it is to hook up since we've integrated our legs into the system. Features of the machine. I brought my partner in, Wesley Watson. Uh, we're the guys behind Texas Post Driver. I'm Wesley with Audi Texas. This is our Texas Post Driver 450 uh, with the integrated uh, side mount and it also has high fence option. All of our handles work as hose routing, so you can put it on either side, kind of protect your hoses, keep them from getting pinched. Uh, we have eight different mounting positions. We have center, side, and then outside. And then whenever you put on your high fence, you can put it in any position too. We also have our chain hooks on either side so we can rip out posts from whatever side that you're running on. Show and me the chain hooks down there. Here and here. Of course, we've already mentioned our legs on either side so it'll stand up on its own. Uh, it won't work in the high fence. Of course, you have to lean it up against something, but any of the low fence options, it'll work and it'll stand up on its own. Uh, Material-wise, we got half-inch hookups up top, half-inch hookups on the bottom, 3-inch plate on the back, quarter-inch 
four by six tubing. Uh, in total, it's 640 pounds. So it works as a weight kit to be able to help you drive your post even better in this hard Texas country. For our high fence, a normal machine will lift up to 10 to 11 feet. We have this two foot riser, be able to get you underneath your uh, 12 to 13 foot T posts so you don't have to try to drive it in at an angle. You can get up over the top of it, drive it in, and be done. Even those bigger machines like the 750 and 1000, what we found is difficult, yeah. so real heavy, and when you get them up there, way up in the air on the boom, yeah, uh, yeah they don't even reach the top of that. Uh, 12 foot yeah, the T-post. Like we were saying earlier, here in the bottom of the machine, welded into the plate, you got your chain hook for pulling your post. I went ahead, put one on each side there. One of the things we didn't mention is you, when you're loading this thing, you can slide your fork. Obviously you move the hose, but you can slide your fork in here, load it in your trailer real nice and easy. This is our auger mount plate. So it's a same six bolt pattern. It'll work on any position. You can put it center side, outside. If you want, you can put it in the high fence. Don't know why you do it, but I guess if you really wanted to. demonstrate the power of the machine. We're out here in some tough country. We're out here in rock country. Limestone, it's everywhere. Yeah.